In this assessment, we're going to classify a variety of solvents as being hydrogen bond donors, polar or nonpolar molecules. Our color code is that we're going to circle the polar ones in blue, the nonpolar ones in green, and the hydrogen bond donors in orange. We may see some molecules circled twice. Uh, let's start with the hydrogen bond donors. Uh, for that, we're going to look for molecules that have a hydrogen attached to an electronegative atom. So for example, ethanol would be an example of a hydrogen bond donor. If we look at acetone, it doesn't have a hydrogen attached to an electronegative atom. Neither does toluene, neither does DMSO. But t-butanol has a hydrogen on oxygen, and so it's going to be another example of a hydrogen bond donor. THF has no hydrogen on an electronegative atom. Water does have a hydrogen on an electronegative atom, so it would be a hydrogen bond donor. Hexane does not. Ethyl acetate does not. Those are our three hydrogen bond donors. Let's do our nonpolar molecules next. In this case, toluene having no electronegative atoms is an example of a nonpolar molecule. Uh, acetone does have a, an electronegative atom, so that carbon-oxygen bond is going to be polarized in the direction of oxygen, so acetone would qualify as a polar molecule. As would ethanol, because it has an electronegative atom, so ethanol is an example of a molecule that is both polar and a hydrogen bond donor. DMSO, not a hydrogen bond donor, would be considered polar because of the SO bond being polarized in the direction of oxygen. THF, similarly, is a polar molecule. Hexane, containing only carbon and hydrogen bonds, so no electronegative atoms there, is a nonpolar molecule. And finally, ethyl acetate, containing the carbon-oxygen double bond and the carbon-oxygen single bond will also be a polar molecule. And so that classifies them as polar, nonpolar, or hydrogen bond donors.